Hey people, welcome back to my daily tutorials. Today we're going to be drawing this gorgeous rockabilly girl. Now it's going to be this exact image we end up drawing. So I'm going to start off with a circle like this, and it's going to be the foundation of the whole face. So come off the side, bring a straight line down, curve around, and then curve back up into the circle to create that jawline. Once that's done, bring a line curving down the center part there, and a line halfway through the whole shape, and a line a quarter of the way through. It's going to get a position for the eyes and the mouth. Once you've done that, just bring a little over on the side and a curved line down. It's going to sort of show where the face curves, where it sort of bends on the side. Now I'm going to bring a curved line here, from that quarter line, curving down, and just from the side of the jaw. Now draw these two curved lines down, one from that quarter line and one from the outside of the jaw. It's going to build up the basis for the neck. You then want to create this other curve coming from the jaw, and just a curved line coming back from the other line. Once you get to the end of those curves, just bring in circles, and it's going to sort of build up the shoulders, so one larger one, one there, curve around the outside, and it's going to give the shoulders building to the arms. So by curving around those circles, it's going to build up the basic positioning for the arms. Draw a line going from each one of those shoulders, and then about halfway through it roughly, for the centre bit, draw a line down, and that's roughly where we're going to put the cleavage. So once that bit's done, we can bring in the lower part of our dress. So bring a long V-shape and two curves on the side. And once this is done, we're going to work up back up to the face now. I'm going to start off with the sunglasses. So bring two large curves and a little base bit just above that halfway line. Now you want to sketch a little line that's going to go roughly halfway between that halfway line and the quarter line. And bring two large semicircles coming down to that curved back around to the glasses at that halfway line. It's just a really easy way of building up the base for that. Mimic the shape on the inside to create an inside part of the glasses. And just on the nose on that little quarter line part, I'm going to do a large circle and two smaller circles. Two little nostrils. Uh, you can do a curve around the outside for the outside nostril on the right hand side, and the other side you want to bring it around and go a bit higher to create a bit of the bridge of the nose. Now if you pay attention to the mouth area, I'm putting two extra lines, one above, one below that line. And you're just bringing two little lines here, just coming down from roughly around the glasses are, and that's going to give me the base for the mouth. You want two little dark bits on the side and one in the centre. Now the other two lines are going to be where the lip's going to go. So you want to bring nice luscious lips curving up and a little dip at the top to create the upper lip, and a nice curve at the bottom to create the bottom lip. The eyebrow is going to go on this line that's just above the glasses. So if you draw a line from the top of the glasses, it gives you a rough positioning. You want to curve these out going quite thick to begin with and going to nice little points right at the end. Now the little circle here just on the side for the ear, and I've got this extra curve coming around where our bandana is going to go. Now it's only the basis of it, you're going to have the uh, bow and stuff to come. So we're going to start off with our hair now. So I want this really nice luscious hair to begin with. Now a nice big curve at the top, so we're going to curve all the way around outside the circle, curving back around just the inside a little bit over the eyebrow. Then the inside going to be all these kind of curves going this way. Now I'm going to do main primary lines and then come back and do like refined lines afterwards. So I'm just basically trying to build the shape up here. So each little bit here is going to be a section of hair. So you see these nice little curves on the right hand side curving down, just overlapping the ear a little bit as well. And now I'm going to build the bow. So the bow, I'm going to start off with like a bit of a square shape in the center, just to create the base of the bow and create these diamond shapes on the outside to make the other bits and two little curves off the top. Now it's a real simple kind of box formation to create that. The outside here on the top part of the right hand side, it's going to be some curves going around like so. So just keep bending them in, coming inwards, and you build it up nicely. And now I'm going to start getting a bit darker now. So I'm going to erase my line work just a little bit so it's a bit more faint, and I'm going to go around those glasses. And you see I've done a little bit of detailing just on the inside, so some little circles, little highlights, and a couple of lines where our shading is going to come off of. So it's going around the nose here and the lips. So just darken the nostrils, just curve around. We're literally going over it, you know, just leaving little spaces where we want little details, like the lips. I don't want the lips to connect on the corners, I want that to be nice and flat. And I'm going to go around the jawline here, down the neck, a little bit around the ear, just like that. The lower part of the body is pretty much self explanatory, just go over everything we've done. And we're going to keep doing the same thing, just building up bit by bit, just going as we go. So a little bit of ear detail now, so it's a little curve inside the ear just to kind of give that inner ear detailing. Around the hair like so. I wonder how many times I say like so in these things. Have to account. And there we go, there's the rest of the hair in there now, so just curving around those lines. And like I said, we're going to add detailing afterwards, you know, like more hair strands and stuff, like you can see on the right hand side. But for now, we're just putting out the basic shapes. So you see, I put a little bit of detail in the bandana now, so a bit of a cut in line. Just to show a fold in it. And the upper detail there, so I've got a little curve just inside the main box area. 
in the two little curves on the left hand side and one straight line on the right hand side just to show the folds inside the bow. The hair strands here, you can see I flicked them in. So I've got the main ones and a few little detail ones just to kind of show more bend in the hair. And this is the basic build up for the whole face. So now you can just erase all those little guidelines we've done before. You, know, you don't need those now, they can just be gone. Because now we're going to go into the shading. Now I'm going to start with the lips. You can see I put these little line details inside the lips just to sort of show how she's pouting. You know, I want a little bit of definition in there. And I've left a little strip of white just on the top and put some grey tone over the top lip. And the bottom one I've left a little highlight just through the centre and a tiny bit of shadow just underneath the chin. So see here, just around the nose area, I've just marked out a little key point where I'm going to put some shadow coming down and around the bottom. And I'm leaving a little highlight just around the nostril area, just to kind of really make it sort of stand out a bit better. And a little shadow just on the bridge as well. I'll put these little lines just on the cheeks to create little kind of dimples where she's sort of pouting. And from those lines, I'm just going to shade inwards, just a very faint bit there. You know, it's a subtle bit, but it's a really important piece because it sort of shows what she's doing with her face. I'm putting the rest of the shadow now in the bottom part of that jaw, so a little bit of shadow just underneath the glasses, just curving around, and just a very faint bit across the bottom part of the jaw and on the sides. Now here I'm going to black in the eyebrows, so I've got nice black eyebrows kind of fading out towards the inside part, and a little bit of shadow just on the inside corners. The glasses are mostly black, just avoiding the key areas that I drew in, so the circles, and when I've done the straight lines, I'm basically doing a fade out, coming from the left hand side, fading to the right. Now you see I put these little key points inside the glasses now, on the actual frame themselves. And these points I'm always going to fade off and do little shades from around them. And that's just key little points around there, just to kind of give a bit more interesting shape to it. And once I've done that, I'm going to start into the hair now. So the, heart, the hair, I'm going to keep building up these sort of curved lines, just making up nice shapes, you know, like you know, building up little layer by layer, little section by section. You know, a little dip here, a little bit there. You know, just keep flicking it in like so. Remember, you don't want to colour the entire thing in, you want to do a little bit, like a little bit. So little highlight strips just here. You know, if you imagine like a little highlight line just coming down through it, you know, a little highlight through the centre. You know, rather than building all your shades in one go, just do a little few sections, bit by piece. And just keep building this up for the exact same technique for all the hair. You know, so just think of it section by section, just make each little bit interesting, you know, just about these little lines. You know, try to sort of not get the help habit of thinking of it as hair strands, but, you know, hair sections. You know, it really helps. And once all the hair is done, I'm going to go into the bandana now. So I'm going to do like a polka dot style, like you can see on the right hand side. So I've marked out all my circles. And I'm just going to put like a really even grey shade around the rest of it. You know, it's really quite simple that, but it's really effective. Once we've got that done, it's going to go down to the neck now. So around the neck, I just put a few little details in. And you can see here, I've just marked out all the points that I'm going to put shadows in. And from these points, we're going to sort of shade either down or sideways, you'll see from each one. I start from the top part going down. So a little shadow underneath the neck, a little bit down the side of the neck. A little highlight just on the right hand side of the neck as well. Very important little feature there. Just come down from that collarbone and just to come around the side of the arms. And just basically coming in from, on, from the lines, fading inwards a little, a little bit. It just creates a nice kind of curve to it really. The bottom part of the dress just fading down like so. Real simple little feature. And then I'm going to add a tattoo. So in my head, I'm just marking out these kind of areas. Like these are the areas I want the tattoos in. So, you know, they're nice on, on, a, on display areas that I can do like a nice kind of designing. So I'm going to start off with her neck. You know, I want something kind of sort of nice and feminine. So I'm going to go for this really nice heart design. I do have a tutorial very similar for something like this. So I'm going to put the word love on her neck just here like so. Just a nice bit like a tele kind of writing. On the left hand shoulder, it's got this nice simple mandala. And I will do some tutorials on these kind of ones as well. And for the last tattoo, I've got a little X on her cheek and I've got the sparrow, well, the swallow on the right hand side rather. Not sparrow, it's a swallow. <laughs> All classic old school, just to kind of fit them in that rockabilly theme. You know? Old school tattoos and rockabilly just go hand in hand. And there you have people, that's how you draw this really cool, gorgeous looking rockabilly girl. I hope it helps. If you like this video, make sure you comment, subscribe, like. And if you'd like to see more on this, just comment below and let me know. Or if there's something else you want to see me draw, just let me know. And I'm always happy to draw whatever you guys like. So, yeah. I am the Broken Puppet People, and I'll see you next time. Peace.